how do guys and welcome back to Geeks of the Realm. Now in this video we're going to do another kit bashing um, tutorial, okay, and this time I'm going to be using, okay, or the, the main part of my kit bash is going to be a Primaris Lieutenant in Phobos armour, okay, I'm going to use that, I showed it before, I've got it, um, not very wolfy, so I'm going to make it wolfy. Now, what I'm going to do with it is going to, I'm going to make a specific character, okay, now the character I'm going to use, or I'm going to make, sorry, is uh, one that I don't have at the moment. I have got most of the Space Wolf characters, Nijal, uh, Nial, Jal, or whatever it is, Stormcaller, okay, Terminator armor. I don't like the one in not Terminator armor. It, uh, it's an awful looking model, but this one I quite like. I've got Krom, okay. You've seen I've got Ulrich, I've got Ajax, I've got, uh, oh God, Logan, I've got the, pretty much most of them. The only ones I don't have is Harold Deathwolf. Uh, I don't have Canis Wolf by uh, Born or Bane, and I don't have a Lucas the Trickster. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how I'm going to kit bash a Lucas the Trickster. Okay, so let's get into it, shall we? Right. So when we're looking at doing uh, Lucas the Trickster, the first thing we need to do is either look on the internet. Okay. Uh, have a look through to see if you can find any pictures of Lucas uh, or Lucas, sorry, Lucas the trickster. Or if you don't, if you can't be bothered doing that, go through the codex. Okay, so you open it up to Lucas the trickster himself. Okay, so have a look through, find Lucas wherever he is. There he is. Okay, so you find him and then you read the description of what the model is. Very simple. So Lucas the trickster is a single model armed with the claw of the jackal wolf, a plasma pistol. Frag grenades and a crack grenades. Okay, so I need something that will give me the claw of the jackal wolf. So something like a frost claw, a lightning claw, a wolf claws. Okay, and I need a plasma pistol. So, been through my bits box and I have found out of quite a lot, I have found two um, claws that I'm going to use. Okay, so two of these lightning claws, frost claw things. Okay. Now we've got this one with the big wolf on the face, on the hand, okay, and you've got one with a smaller wolf on it with a little bit of um, embellishment down here, okay. So I'm I'm deciding which one I'm going to choose yet. And then I've got some plasma pistols. Now what I've also done is I've looked on the internet and I've seen what Lucas the Trickster looks like. Now he's got his claw on his left arm, so his left arm is this um, sort of melee claw, and his right hand has got the plasma pistol. Now I'm going to try and keep this as close to that model as possible, okay? So I'm going to try and get the right hand with the plasma pistol. Now I have got one here with his right hand, the plasma pistol, okay? But I'm not sure, okay, if I'm going to use it. Because I'm thinking of using a, something else with his right arm. Now, I'm not sure what yet. I need to go and have a look through my bits box. But I think it needs something to be a little bit bigger than what I'm using here. Okay. So I might look at a Terminator or something. Like that. I'm not sure. But I do definitely need to change that to something longer. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a look through my bits box. I'm going to see if I can find a right arm that I can use. All right, guys. Then I'll come back to you. Right. So I found one. Okay. Um, but it is a of a standard marine uh, space marine, okay, a, a grey wolf, grey wolf, grey hunter. Sorry, I say oh blood claws. It's one of them, um, but I don't know if it's too small. So what I'm going to do, okay, is I've just picked the weapons that I've got now. Okay, I've got some more space wolfy stuff, and what I've done is because I'm using the Primaris Lieutenant in Phobos armor, I've sort of made the body up. So we've got the legs, the body. Okay, I haven't put the arms on or the head because they're the ones I'm going to change. But the problem I've got is I have got these parts here. Okay, so this part of the arm here, the upper arm and the shoulder, and this part here, which is the shoulder panel. Okay, they're in the way. I don't want them because they're going to cause all sorts of trouble. So I am going to take my clippers. Okay, and I'm just going to go and cut off is um and just like so okay i'll cut off his arm and then i'll come back and clean it up in a minute and the same with this i'm going to cut off the shoulder panel 
Okay. Again, like I said to you before, when you look at kit bashing, it's small little cuts, okay, is actually better for you. So then you don't actually take too much off. Now, when you have managed to scrape them all, okay, or get it all off, you have to clean it, and make sure it's all smooth and flat, ready for extra bits to be stuck on. Okay, so I've actually took off the back parts of his shoulders as well as his arms okay so now i can offer up his claws so you can see that will fit nicely on there okay do i like that one i do it for i think i like that one yeah that one looks a bit better i'm going to use that one okay so that one's going to get stuck into there good 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 okay and then but well, i'm not going to stick that on yet because i'm going to stick his head on the head i'm going to use i've got two again these are wolfen heads because Lucas has tricked his head. He's got massive long hair sticking up spiky, just like a wolfen. Okay. So I'm going to look at which one of these I'm going to stick on. And I'm going to use some green stuff, I think, on this to make the head because the way his head's sitting is not in the right way. That could be better. Go, go for the bigger head. Yeah, let's go for the bigger head. Why not, eh? So I just have to clean this up like so. Okay, two little shallow bits. Let's clean it up all the way around. There we go. So I'm gonna have to use some green stuff here just to make a neck for him. Okay, make a neck. So I'm gonna get some green stuff. Um, or I might use part of a wolf and body. As you see, I don't actually think about this until I'm actually doing it, okay? And this could be a good thing or a bad thing. So I've actually got the neck there of a wolfen. So if I stick that onto there, maybe cut and try it. See, so I'm going to cut the neck off the wolfen, okay? Just like so. Okay, there's one bit, two bits. Okay, like so. I'm gonna have to shape that around so it can fit in there. Okay, just like so, just little small bits off. Will it fit? It fits, but not great. So I need to, what I need to do is I need to trim this down, okay, flat. And see once I've got it in there nicely and then I can put the wolf and head on it. Alright, so I'm going to do that and I'm going to come back to you so you can see what it looks like before I stick the wolf and head on. Okay, so there you go. I don't know if you can see. Okay, but basically I've just took the neck off the wolf and... Yep. Neck off the wolf and, and I've just glued it in there. Okay. Glued it in. Pushed it down so it melts together. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that. I'm going to put that head on it right now, so I know that I've got a nice head. And then it kind of does look like Lucas the Trickster. There we go. Okay. So he's now running in. So I'm going to turn that his head a bit. Perfect. Okay. So that. As now as he's running in like the good old trickster he is it looks pretty good on the back so now what i can do is i can now look at where i'm going to put the arms now at the moment his arm the, the the figure of lucas itself is he's got his claw coming up like that the problem is with this one it's actually bringing his arm over towards his hair and i don't want that that one however is pretty good I quite like that so I'm gonna clean that up okay give it a good old clean and it's alright using the power fist one because Lucas the trickster actually has a power fisty claw if you look okay and like I say this is a kit bash I'm trying to make the character I want which is pretty good Okay, and I just hold it on into the area, like 
so there we go now that looks pretty cool yep very very lucasy okay so the next thing i need to do is i need to do is right arm now it's right arm okay i found this plasma gun here okay, or plasma pistol sorry not gun okay right here now it is a little bit on the small side his arms look a little bit silly okay so i'm gonna see if i've got a terminator arm okay or i might even see what arm he's got and use that one try yep so i'm gonna have a look to see what uh right arm i've got i might even use that one Will that would work that could work i could put a pistol in there what would i have but then obviously when i'm doing this i also need to figure out do i have enough gap for yeah that looks good right that's what i'm going to use i'm going to use this arm okay i'm going to use this arm i'm going to cut off his hand okay so i'm going to cut off his hand like so okay so his hand so i've got a full arm without a hand on there let's clean that up okay make sure there's no bit sticking up excellent okay now how does that fit on here just like that cool okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to glue this now so his arm i'm going to glue this to lucas himself just so i can get an idea of where i'm going to stick the gun okay so just like so just like so there we go i'll just pretend now there a bit okay so he's bringing his arm out to one side that's not bad at all quite like that okay i will need to stick this where is it i've just added it this part this shoulder panel on so what i'm going to do to stick this on i'm not going to use um, some plastic glue and the reason for that is i've already glued this in here so it's actually broken and melted off so it's a little bit broke but one of my friends bought me this five second fix this super glue five second fix and you use a blue light on it and it's got really really strong and good effects so i'm just going to put some super glue in there like so put the lid on okay once that's in there we go so turn the blue light on when i need it put that in there like so okay and then put the blue light on it like that and then that this blue light apparently takes five seconds to harden i think it takes a little bit longer than five seconds but it does do a really good job okay there we go so turn that off now and then we'll stick it back onto lucas the trickster there we go And that looks pretty cool. So I'm just going to let that settle for a bit. Okay. So I'm just going to put Lucas down here and I'll let that settle. Okay. So now I need to figure out making that hand with a pistol. And it's going to be his right arm, right hand, which I'm going to use, which is the bigger gun. Because obviously you need the bigger, the bigger plasma. They are pretty much the same size. Yes, they are. So I'm just going to use this one. So I'm going to cut it off uh, below. Below where I chopped it from before. So 
all little bits. Okay, once that's done, I'm gonna use my knife. Just to make sure I get that nice, nice, straight, perfect. Now just clean it up. All I'm doing is cleaning his hand up, okay? So now it's perfect to stick on the hand I'm gonna use. So I'm gonna use some plastic glue this time. Like I say, plastic glue for these is much better because it does melt them unless you've already messed about with it. So I'll hold it there. There we go. It's actually looking a pretty cool, Lucas. Okay, I do quite like that. Okay, now what I'm gonna do, okay, is I'm going to put a backpack on him with a wolf pelt, because he has got, in the pictures, he does have a wolf pelt over his, uh, like a wolf cloak over the whole thing. Now I don't have a wolf cloak, I don't think. He says that, but he's got all sorts. So let's have a look. What have I got? Let's have a look down here. <sighs> now that many bit boxes. What have I got? Mm, that does look like a bit of a cloak to me. It is the Terminator one. I wonder if this Terminator cloak. So that goes on to there, like so. Figure out which way it goes. There we go, like that. I wonder if that will fit. Mm. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to glue it together. Because why not? It's supposed to go together. Let's glue it together and then see where I can stick it after. Okay, plastic glue again. Melt it together. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue this together. And then we'll have a look to see if it will fit okay if there's a way of using it all right guys i'll be back with you in a second all right guys i've stuck it together and i've just put the terminator cloak onto um my lucas and do you know what i really like the way it looks the cloak is a little bit big but it kind of reminds me of um the superhero slash thing called um spawn okay i think that's quite cool actually it's mental when you put it on like so but i actually really like the way it looks so guess what that's what i'm going to do i'm going to stick him on okay so i'm going to stick that onto lucas because ruler cool i love the way it looks that's where he's going to get it there we go so stick all this down Plenty of glue. Okay. And then we're going to stick it over Lucas. We're going to hold it where we think it's going to be good. Like that. I like that. Like that. There we go. Just going to hold it on there for a few minutes. Could really wait to uh, stick them together, but I'm very impatient. I like things to be done now. So let's hold it, hold it together. But that I have found one problem with this. Obviously, the cloak goes a little bit longer than his um, than his body, but that is okay because I can stick him on something, and it makes it look a little bit cooler. Like he is jumping around being very tricksty so i'm going to hold that there this is cool so not so far i've used some lightning claws and i think they're off the terminator um spot uh sprue i've used the cloak from the terminator sort of captain um leader boss man okay the cloak from there so from that i've used arm from 
don't know where that was from. Pro Do you know what? I think it was actually from the um must have been a, a sergeant or could it even be from Jovin? No, could it? I'm not sure. It's basically he had an arm straight out with his fingers like that. So it's kind of almost like the uh, like the librarian, but I don't actually have a librarian. Okay. So it might be from a battle leader or something. So I've used that. I've used a wolf and head so far. So that is actually pretty cool. Lucas, I'm quite... Do you know what, Games Workshop? Look at that. Yeah. Take that. Change that to the new Lucas. Because that is class. I do like that a lot. I don't even have to worry about sticking a backpack on him now. Okay. I just need to figure out how I'm going to have him stood on the base. Because that is a big, big cape. Right. I'm going to let that dry. Before I mess about with it too much. I'm going to let that dry. The wolf is over that side. That's all right. You know, I might have to. May have to. Bit of green stuff maybe. Nah, should be alright. Yeah, that'd be alright. That's it. I'll just hold it in there like that. There we go. Right. I am gonna leave that now. Before I start messing about it too much. I'm gonna let it fully dry. Okay? Once it's fully dry, I'm then gonna figure out how I'm gonna get it stuck onto here. Now I can use this that it's come with, okay? And have it so it's jumping off it which i probably will do because it looks like it's going to be a solid base and that looks like it's very unstable so i think i'm going to use that but i'm very happy with it so i'll come back to you once it's all dry figure out how to stick it on here and yeah i'm very happy so far right well he's pretty much done i just need to put a couple of bits of green stuff around okay just to cover a bit of holes and the way his legs move but Basically, my Lucas the Trickster is done. Now, I had to use the base, which is that kind of bit of the building that comes with the Primaris Lieutenant. I had to use that to lift him up a little bit so his cape doesn't get stuck on the uh, on the base. Okay, but you can see it still does. Yeah, it's still quite a big, big cape. All right, but I actually quite like it. I think it looks pretty cool. Um... So there's that. I've in here. You might not be able to see, but in here, his leg. I had to move his leg to the side ever so slightly because it just didn't work well with his leg being further up. Okay, so I'm gonna have to put a little bit of green stuff in there. So what I've done, it's got my green stuff. Okay, get me a little sculpting tool. Bit of water on it. Okay, water is your friend when it comes to green stuff. Okay. You're just going to get a little bit of green stuff, roll it up into a nice little ball. Okay, and there we go. And I'm just going to put it in between his leg. Okay, a bit more water, not too much. And I'm just going to force it in, in there like that. Okay, into the hole. That's it, just dry it off a bit too much water on there never mind all the way around and it was groin there we go now what I'm gonna do smooth it out and then once it's smoothed out and I'm gonna draw lines on it to make it look like it's part of the under under armor like so okay you'll be able to see it perfectly on there but just in the corner excellent there we go i don't need to do green stuff anywhere else because that is pretty cool lucas the trickster finished nice little kit bash so a bit of a bit of a weird job because i was just going through it and figuring out what have i got what can i use um, but yeah, I'm quite impressed with it. So, we'll have a little recap after this and uh, tell you what I've used. Alright guys, 
Right, so there we have it. We have finished our Lucas the Trickster. Okay, um, quick recap of what I've used. So I used the Primaris Lieutenant and Forbus armor. That was the base of it. Um, his legs and his body, his torso. <coughs> not his arms, not his head, um, just his legs and his body. I also used the base part for him to jump on. Um, I don't know if I was going to use it, but I needed to use it because of his cloak. So that's what we'll move on to next. I use the Terminator cloak um, from the term from the Space Wolf Terminator um, packs. I've used that. I used it literally. It just came to me there and then. Oh, Lucas the Trickster has a big cloak on his uh, on the pictures I've seen, and I just remembered that I do have a wolf pelt cloak in here from the Terminators. I wonder if it would fit because I was going to use the uh, wolf pelt um, from. Just the standards, um, the standard blood class. I was going to use that and just stick it behind it, like I did with um, other stuff like that, basically. Yeah, so I was going to use that one, but I think that one looks a bit better. It's basically from that Terminator set, that wolf, um, that wolf cloak. So from there, so I used that, and I think it works really well. Okay, then obviously we went through the codex and we found out he has a plasma pistol and he has a um, jackal wolf claw that he's got okay um, and when I've looked at the pictures his wolf claw is on his left arm and his right hand's the plasma so I used a terminator arm um, for his claw on the left hand side and I used um, I think it's from the talons of the wolf oh, I can't remember that box that you got with the primers where you got um, a flyer some uh, you got an iron priest you got Wolfen and you got some Primaris intercessors. I think it's from the intercessor there. Okay, so I used his arm, his hand, sorry, his arm, and I chopped his hand off. And then I put a plasma pistol that I had, um, a space wolf plasma pistol. So I chopped that arm off, uh, hand off. So I stuck the hand on um, there with the plasma pistol, and I think it looks pretty good. Okay, so we'll see. The shoulder pad is from a Terminator one. It's got the wolf pelt on it. And because um, Lucas looks like he's got lots of wolf clothes all over it. It's almost like a named wolfen. Okay. Um, so I use that. Then I looked at the picture again. And Lucas the trickster has long hair. Like long sticky up hair. Just like a wolfen has. So I used an, a wolfen head. With long, long hair. Okay. And he's got like a little beard as well. Okay. A little goatee. I think that is one of my favourite um, conversions I've done just because I, I love the way it looks. It looks so much better than the other Lucas ones. It just gives it a bit more. Personally, I mean, I know I've made it and it's my thing, but I do think it looks a little bit better than the normal Lucas one. The Lucas one's pretty funky and good, but I quite like this one. Please leave a um, uh, comment below um, when you see the pictures of these and see what, tell me what you think. Um, but yeah, like I say, I do, I do quite like this. But because he was on there with a long cloak, he was a bit unbalanced. So what I've done is I've got some no more nails, which I've lost now. Okay, some no more nail stuff. Uh, God, it was just here a minute ago. Oh, it's on the floor down there. So no more nails, and I've put a two pence piece in the base. Okay. Yes, Lucas the Trickster is supposed to be on a 25 mil base, but it didn't suit it. And I don't tend to do um, big tournament games because it's just, it, it's not, I want to go for fun with these. So I've put it on a 32 mil base, okay? Um, and I think it goes a lot better. I do like it a lot better. So there we have it, my Lucas. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some pictures of it. Um, and obviously I'll paint it as well, just like the other, um, the other paint sessions I've done. I might even video me painting it, I don't know yet. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna let it fully dry, because it's not. Um, take some pictures, uh, put the pictures at the end of this video, so please stay tuned for that. Um, and all I want to know is, what do you think? What do you think I could have done better? What do you think I could have had now? I just have a bit of Space Wolf stuff. I don't have loads and loads of um, bits from other, other kits. It's just mainly Space Wolf stuff. Um, so, it has to be space wolfy, I'm afraid. But leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. Um, I will endeavour to reply to you. Okay. 
Um, and yeah, I'm quite happy with it. I'm going to be kit bashing some more stuff. I have got uh, Primaris Impulsor, okay, to um, to convert. And I did say I've got a bear, and I have, so I might look at making him my Canis Wolfbane get a, a model and put a of Wolfbane on there but I'm not sure yet I'm gonna I'll have a think about it I'll have a look um, and see what else I can kit bash but yeah I'm happy as Larry okay well I'm happy as Lucas the trickster okay smashing heads and cracking skulls I'm as happy as that all right guys so yes thanks for watching and uh, don't forget to subscribe and uh, press the like button when I do um, send some more videos or upload some more videos okay click the bell notification so you do get notified when I do and I'm going to try and do some much more because at the moment under lockdown there's not much else I can do kit bash paint um, kit bash uh, what else can I do oh yeah I can paint um, what else can I do oh I can kit bash yeah I'm just keep doing the same thing over and over again alright guys and let me know what, what you like to see on this channel and um, see what else I can do I'd say I do a lot of D&D &D, so I might put some more stuff like that up um, I've got some painting tutorials for some Night's Watch and some more Stark stuff. Lots more st stuff to come. So yeah, just keep blabbling on Aaron. That's all I seem to do. All right. Take care, guys. Thanks for watching.